Australia are waiting to hear about their future after the plant's owner admitted his financial situation is challenging. The British businessman Sanjeev Gupta took over the operation in 2017, but now one of his financial backers has filed for bankruptcy. Our reporter Sarah Tomevska joins me now from Adelaide. Sarah, how bad is the situation at Wyala? Well, there's a lot of uncertainty and that is really what's causing concern. Uh, GFG Alliance owns the Wyala Steelworks and is, as you say, in a challenging situation after its main financial backer, Greensill, went into administration. Now, Greensill has alleged in court that GFG has defaulted on about $5 billion worth of debt. So the question for Wyala is, can Sanjeev Gupta, GFG's executive chairman, make up that money elsewhere and it's not just uh, employees at the steelworks whose uh, futures are potentially in question because of this situation GFG also owns and operates an iron ore mine nearby so uh, GFG Alliance spokesman has said that the operation as a whole is strong and they, the company is benefiting from 13-year high steel prices as well as strong markets in aluminium and ore. Uh, it's admitted that it's in a challenging situation but it says it does have adequate funding for its current needs and they are currently in discussions to secure alternative long-term funding solutions. What has been the reaction to the uncertainty? Well, obviously, there's a lot of concern from people in the town of Wyala. However, some locals are backing GFG. They're backing Sanjeev Gupta and they're saying that they are taking him on his word, which is that he's given the town and employees of the steelworks the assurance that he will find that long-term funding. Um, obviously, South Australia's uh, Premier has also come out in support of Sanjeev Gupta and the GFG Alliance. He said that following a teleconference with Mr Gupta and several other stakeholders yesterday, he's got confidence that he will get on top of the company's financial situation. And of course, uh, GFG announced two years ago that it had plans to expand and transform the steelworks in Wyala and the state government is very much hopeful that will still happen. And uh, we also heard from the federal member for Grey, which encompasses Wyala, Rowan Ramsey, who has really emphasised the importance of the steelworks to the local economy. It's the heartbeat of Wyala. I mean, there's about 1,500, 14, 1,500 jobs at the steelworks in a population of about 22,000. Uh, the mines employ another 900 or so, but uh, there are so many knock-on jobs from, um, from, from the steelworks. Without the steelworks and the mines, there's not really much need to have Wyala there unless we can diversify the economy somewhat. So Rowan Ramsey there talking about the significance of the steelworks to Wyala and also to the Australian economy. He also went on to mention that uh, the manufacture of steel in Australia is so significant, especially after what we've seen from the COVID-19 pandemic. But federal Labor is less convinced and they have some concerns. Uh, this is of deep concern to Labor. We have been raising for some time our concerns around uh, whether or not this is a sustainable arrangement uh, to be had in place uh, in terms of the supply chain financing. So this is very much a fluid situation. It's still, uh, there are ongoing discussions between GFG, the federal and the state government and stakeholders uh, about how the company will secure that long-term finance. And uh, South Australia's Premier said that he had a conversation with the Prime Minister Scott Morrison yesterday afternoon and says that he is very keen to secure the future of steel manufacture in Australia. So there is even uh, conjecture that the federal government may step in at, at this stage unless another solution is found. But of course, all of this remains to be seen. That's Sarah Tomevska in Adelaide. And a little later this